So this question says the graph of the polynomial function f, where y equals f of x, has x-intercepts at negative 6, 0, and 6, 0. So anytime I see a question that describes something that can be drawn, I'm going to use this strategy called plug-in picture. So I'm going to just quickly draw an xy coordinate plane here. I'm going to, um, in a different color, I'm going to mark where these points are, these x-intercepts, so I know that I'm at 6, 0, so 1, 2, 3, 4. Four, five, six. So I have a point right there. And I'm at negative six, zero. So one, two, three, four, five, negative six. And I have a point there. Which of the following must be true? Well, let's see. F of negative six equals zero. So what does that mean? That means that when x equals negative six, that y equals zero. That is definitely true. That is the definition of an x-intercept that is this point right here. So this must be our correct answer. But let's check the other ones. f of 6 equals negative 6. Well, that means when x equals 6, y would equal negative 6, which would take us down here. So that's not true. And c would mean when x is negative 6, y is positive 6, which again would take us up here, which is also not true. And D would say that when X is zero, Y is negative six, which would put us right here on the Y intercept. That'd be our Y intercept, which is also not true. Okay, so I took the time to go through these just to give you some more practice on how to convert function notation into this understanding of how X and Y relate to each other. But we found the answer pretty quickly here. It is choice A.